Morning all. I've actually been awake since about 8.30 and it's now, I don't know, about 10.45. No, I wasn't far off, 10.46 by my clock on there. Um, had a busy day yesterday, decided to uh, tackle this closet. I was going to tackle the one outside the front door, but uh, I'm going to Mum shortly. Stepdad should be here very soon to pick me up. Um, <laughs> there was just one thing I wanted to do beforehand, if I can actually get the cable. I'm going to have to put me down for a minute. Because I've put a box of cars in the way. I'm going to make up a string of lights to go along the bottom of this shelf and then bring a cable down and go along the bottom of that shelf. I'm going to use these. So I thought I'd uh, just give you a little demo if I can just get down on the bed. Try and get you know, some sort of bloody lens on that wants to make the camera tilt all you've got to do with these well you can see what I've done on that one you've got them spikes and you literally just sit it I might have to twist the cable to get it to sit flat and I just need to figure out where I need to put this one along the cable got a nice long bit of cable so, I'm going to put that one there, I'm going to need one, roughly there, right, so, I've got a rough position of where I want the cable, the lamp holder rather, this is the beauty of these, so, you just get your flat bit of cable like that, you get your lamp holder and you just literally sit it on like that right so your cable is in the gap like that and you just screw the base on that is simple as simple as that be careful not to cross thread it and you just keep screwing it down as tight as you can pretty much all the way twat here has actually gone and cross threaded that one. It shouldn't matter, it should still work. Oh no, it's just popped into place. I think. Yep. And again, being like being like bulbs, it doesn't really matter which way you put these on. You can't really go wrong with it. So I've got to go along and put another two on that side because I'm putting four under each shelf could if I really wanted to I could actually um, squeeze a bit more but I don't want to clutter it up too much uh, I've got all my lamp holders down here that I need I think I got ten out in total so I was going to put five under each shelf but changed my mind and then what I've got to do before I put those lights up when I've made them. This switch has got to be moved and put on the wall and I'm going to put a double switch on here. So I'll have one for the light there and one for the string and that will also save running another plug to another socket down there because I'm sort of running out. <laughs> um, I've still got to get under there and sort that out. And, uh, not to worry, I'll get sorted out. Yeah, so I'll go along and make that up, and I'll just between the two shelves, I'll just clip the cable down the edge of the wall. And of course, 
I've left a long enough tail. Uh, where is it? There it is. On this end, probably more than enough, I think, to terminate it to the switch. Anyway, I might take the camera with me to Mum's. I don't know. I don't see why not. That'll slide in my pocket, so yeah. Uh, I'll show you my hoard over there, can't I? So, I guess I'll talk to you next time when I'm at Mum's. Outside the muddy fox, that's mine. Biggles kept to his word. I've got that. I'm gonna pay for it tomorrow though, but that'll clean up nicely. Uh, I came in here for something specific and I can't remember what it was. <sighs> There's that little old three speed shopper. I think the rear brake seized. No, the cable's just... Oh, the cable's been cut. What have we got? Grip shift. That's seized. Front brake. Well, that works. Two bikes under there. I know someone that wants one of these ladies three speeds, so... That's spoken for. That black frame is a project. We'll have to find some forks. And uh, I've got a racing bike project, or even a three-speed project, whichever I want to do. Under there as well, I've got another racing frame under there. Oh. I've got wheels in here. Wheels down there. <laughs> I need to go through some, because some I'll put on eBay. Such as that one. Yeah, box of bits, foot pumps, pumps, lots and lots of pumps. <laughs> We've got one, two, three, four, five, six in there, seven, eight, two in the car, that's ten. I did have some lying over here, but I think it's just I'd put them in that box. Yep, so I've got ten pumps here at the moment. Two little ones I'm taking home with me, that's why they're in the car. Uh, and heck knows how many I've got at home. Oh, I forgot to tell stepdad that I've got the grinder working. Whee! I went to use it and found it wasn't working, it just blown a fuse. Got the battery charged. Don't need it, but... Oh! Oh dear! My drill, my old face that I left here has broken. Battery is charged. Ryobi one here. I didn't see that there actually. It could be. Battery contacts from the look of it. Ow! Yeah. And I've got to do something when I stop so there's battery contact. we've got in here anything good various connectors oh 
Oh, clips for greenhouse. For the glass on a greenhouse. <sighs> I can't actually remember if I've shown any of this. You know, we boxed in the meter cupboard. Chainsaw in the middle of the floor for some reason. Tools everywhere, I think. One of us is going to have to uh, zip round and uh, put all the tools back. Oh, there's a pair of wheels out by the wheelbarrow there. They're going home because I'm going to put those in my Claude Butler. Uh, and there's the garden tractor all repainted. I've just got to put a battery on charge tonight because I should be coming over tomorrow. I'll get it charged and... Uh, It should be okay. Put it straight on the mower and it will go. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've got an old cheapy universal three speed bike in here. Well, it's actually got a geared wheel in the back, indexed to geared wheel. So I was just going to experiment. Uh, but I need a 26 inch, really. I've got some 26 inch steel. They might fit. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I took that bloody old fluorescent light fitting down because that's doing my head in. I just stuck one of those up just to light that end up because it was always dark and you couldn't see sod all. Yeah, so I've got. Oh, I've got a load of forks and whatnot down there. Yeah, there's several pairs of forks down there. Anyway, I'm going to disappear and I'll talk to you when I get home. Right, I'm home. I just got home to find the electric was off. Because I'd run out of electricery. Uh, I hope it hasn't been off too long. It's still booting up. My interwebs hub. Let's so see how cold things are in the fridge. And it's still quite cold, that bowl, so it hasn't been off for long. That's good. Yeah, I can have a good look at these as well now. Yeah, I'm, uh, internet light has gone blue, so I'm active. Go. Lights. Yeah, that's bent, so I'm going to have to straighten that off to get that skewer out. But, uh, those are the rims. Can I get some better light? I bet if I take They're both the same, so... There we go. That's what's going in grey clawed. And the ones that are in grey clawed might go in this one. I don't know yet. Maybe minus the 8 speed freewheel, but it will probably go in there. Is this 8 speed? It's an 8 speed cassette. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. Which I might take off. And take that stupid annoying chain guard thing off. Uh, front wheel hasn't got a tire on it, but that doesn't matter because I'll use the ones on the current wheels. I'm not sure what I'm gonna um, do with the current wheels. I'll see what I've got at Mum's, and I'll see what I've got here for. Um, wheels for this one. I've got my password for a second there. Ooh. Don't know if I showed you that I got this magnet working. <laughs> Little fire engine fridge magnet. I've got an eagle and a heart somewhere. The heart isn't working properly 
I mean, this one's got a little blue LED right there where my thumb is. That isn't very bright at all. I'm not sure what's wrong there. But, uh, actually, I think it's meant to have two blue LEDs because there's another one right below it that doesn't work at all. Yeah. Um, fuck, I forgot to put that cola back in the fridge. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, I'll open up a fresh cold one and put that one in the fridge. Uh, yeah, so I've got them wheels home. That muddy fox. I'm going to take a grinder to the chain and take that off, because I should be going back to Mum's tomorrow. Because uh, Stepdad wants to do some dump runs with the trailer. That reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me, I'm going to do that while I'm thinking of it. Uh, is it in here or did I put it in the kitchen? I'm looking for that old motorcycle battery. Uh, might not find it. <laughs> What the fuck did I do with that? It was in this closet. And I took it out yesterday when I was uh, cleaning it. Uh, uh, I found it. Uh, no, I'm going to keep that all right. Here it is. I'll put this in the kitchen. I'm going to put it on charge overnight. Um, because that trailer is rather heavy, so we're going to try and attach it to the garden tractor and tow it up to the driveway using that, we hope. <laughs> um, but mum seeing, or going up to see a friend at lunchtime, so it won't be till tomorrow afternoon, which is, isn't a bad thing, because that means I've got all day pretty much, or all morning to uh, do the things I want to do because it's paid out. Right. I actually forgot to tell Stepdad that I put those um, tins of nails and things in the workshop for him and those extension cords. Right. I should have um, just checked the voltage. Hang on a minute. It should have enough cranking power to start it. If not, we'll just have to jump start it. Right. Uh, not off for a minute. Crank that round and what have we actually got in the battery? <laughs> 4.9 volts. So uh, 5 volts, near enough. Right, so I'm going to leave that to charge. Actually, I'll just make sure charge is going into said battery. Point something volts. Right. So actually a brand new battery that's not really been used, so it should be okay. Uh, while I'm in here, I better put some food down for the boss. Right, fresh. 
first tin. Last tin. And I've got those two batteries up the back there, but one, I don't actually know if they're any good. They've got plenty of fluid in them, but... I'll give them a check in a minute. This is actually a motorcycle battery, so should work. Yeah, that's well above the um, lower level anyway. I'm done with it. There is dumbass. So these cheapo meters are great just for things like this. If you just want to know if anything, if it's got charge in it or anything. Oh, it's got 1.8 volts, so. It might take a charge. A very big might though. What I might do is take these over to Mum's as well and get them on charge. Fuck bleeding all that. I don't think that one's going to come back to life. Hmm. Yeah. Might take this one over, the MF one, and see if I can breathe the life into that. As it's still holding some sort of a charge, it should come back to life. Uh. It's either that or I'd connect the charger up now and charge it up here. But I don't know if you've got to take out the uh, plugs or if you leave them in or... It looks like the plugs have got to come out. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. I've got plenty of chargers. I can wire a charger straight to it and I'll take them bungs out just in case. Windows are open for ventilation. Well, actually, what I'll do, I'll just leave it on for an hour or so and see if it does take a charge. That's what I'll do. Put that on to 12 volt. I think the other one here I'm going to throw because it really isn't. It might. I'll clean the contacts up and again I'll try it. But... Right. That's helpful. Not. Right. I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver for that, aren't I? And another power outlet. Right. Well, I've got a power outlet. I'm not going to turn it on yet until I've hooked it all up. And what I'll do, I'll shut the camera down for now, and I'll come back later and uh, tell you what the results are. First, I'll just grab screwdriver and pliers right I'll be back in a bit so I've just don't know could call it a debate I suppose uh, and this debate it's kind of made me realize something that I can be a total cunt on Facebook to put it bluntly um, we are talking about speed bumps but it was the way he replied to me which is a similar sort of thing I'd reply to towards someone else that may not know something about the subject that's been discussed and that kind of made me feel small <laughs> inadequate and it made me realize that because I reply to other people in a similar way I probably make them feel it as well 
so it's it's woken me up and made me realise that uh, I could be a total dick and I actually don't like it because I was never a dick when I was you know growing up at school but for some reason I've hit my adult years and I've just become a total prick especially on Facebook and I don't know why I really don't I don't know if it's just life in general that's caused it if it's a bit of depression I don't fucking know I really don't so you know what from now on I'm not going to be that prick anymore I think that's all I wanted to say. The batteries are still on charge, but because it's come up, I just wanted to get it off my chest. I'm not sure how I feel at the moment. Can't figure out where things went wrong, maybe? I don't know. Right. We've got, I'm going to give the batteries about another 20 minutes ish. And then I'm going to see if they are taking a charge. And uh, I did, well, you saw I took the tops out of that battery and I've put it by the window just in case any gas has come off. Because I'm not sure with those batteries, I never charged ones up like that. But, uh, I just remember the old car batteries that had the same sort of caps and you used to have to take them out. But car batteries used to bubble and this one's not making any bubbling or anything. But it is charging us. The one amp lamp LED has come on. So that, I think, is actually a good thing. Right, anyway, let me just pay for a bit. <laughs> 